Hi everyone, welcome to Aurora Science and Tech High School Open House. We are so excited to welcome you to our virtual open house today for the 22-23 school year. My name is Rebecca or Becca Block and I am the current school director or principal at AST Middle School. You can see some pictures of me here, um, both in the bottom corner, me in an owl costume as our mascot is the owls over here at AST in a couple of pictures um, with students from when I was a teacher and a leader in different school districts, including uh, DSST public schools, and then a picture of my family that's now a little outdated because my kids are getting big, but I am so excited to be a part of the AST community, and it has really meant a lot to me to lead our school here, our first school in Aurora since 2019. I wanted to give you some updates first about AST High School. And the first update is that we are looking to hire a principal for Aurora Science and Tech High School. We will undergo a hiring process to fill that position. Um, and we hope to announce, you know, sometime in the winter or early spring who that new school leader will be. Please look for opportunities to engage in the interview process, parent input is really important to us, as well as opportunities to meet that new high school director once he or she is named. The second announcement is just around the facilities. If you're familiar with our campus at Aurora Science and Tech, um, the high school is fully built and currently housing our middle school students as DSST schools start in sixth grade and build a grade each year until we are fully built out six through 12 campuses. Um, and so what this means is that the middle school building is has yet to be built. They're hoping to break ground in the spring and do an expedited process to get that building up and ready to go. But it does mean that we will not have a middle school and high school facility to start the 22-23 school year. That means we will most likely need to get portables of some kind or another to house several classrooms next year in order to accommodate a full middle school plus a ninth grade. This will be a temporary one year solution and then both middle and high schools will have beautiful new facilities from which to learn in. Today our presentation will be about 10 minutes and then please feel free to email me uh, hop on our website and look at the virtual tour that we have, explore our website and social media if you have further questions. So who are we at AST? You know, we value a lot of things, the, the primary one being community and our core values. Um, we really believe these two things are really inextricably linked and that a strong community allows students to feel safe at school um, and that having a set of values Use our core values, which I'll speak about in a little bit, really grounds and brings us all together in some shared understanding of, of what it means to build the community we want here at AST. And finally, we really care about relationships. We want to deeply know each and every student who comes to our building, and we want them to know us as staff and faculty as well. We also couple high expectations, a really high bar for how students act, for how they engage in classwork, and for how they show up from their community. And we couple that with high support. We help them get there. We use mistakes as learning opportunities. Um, and we scaffold curriculum to ensure that all students can meet our high bar. And the final piece is being college ready. Really important to us that by the time students graduate, our AST slash DSST high school, they are truly ready to engage in college level coursework. Um, and then 100% means every single child is both known, every single child is ready for college coursework, whether they choose that path or not, and that every child has high expectations put upon them and high support given to them. As mentioned earlier, here are our our six core values, we believe these trans transcend all races and religions or socioeconomic status and our six values that all people can find common ground with. Respect, responsibility, courage, courage, curiosity, integrity, and doing your best. So as I mentioned earlier, 100% to us really does mean 100%. So relationships as the foundation of our work and time that we spend at school, we believe when kids know we care about them, they will 
they are more likely to feel successful and to be able to share what's going on with them at school. And to do that, we start with um, advisory, which is a core practice of the work we do here at AST. Advisories are small groups of about 15 students to one adult, kind of that school within a school mentality. Um, the student's advisor will check in with them on their grades, on how they're feeling, and will be your primary point person um, to reach out to if you have questions about events going on at the school or your child's individual progress. We also have a smaller school model. We'll probably enroll about 150 ninth graders next year and that's because we want to be we're small by design and we think that in the high school where you know sometimes kids go to big schools and get really lost we don't want that experience for your student we don't want your student to feel anonymous at school we really strive to know every single member of our community deeply Mental health support is also something we really focus on at AST. Um, we have full time mental health professionals and we want students to feel like they have resources if they are struggling or working through um, personal personal things. And then we definitely have after school tutoring. That's that high support um, coupled with those high expectations. For academic results, I wanted to share with you our most um, recent DSST school, the Hornets Conservatory Green High School. I'm going to share some of their statistics with you as they as they have most recently graduated um, their first founding high school class. So you can see here on this slide um, in 2018, here were the um, PSAT average scores with Conservatory Green and then DSST Stapleton, which is now known as DSST Montview in the top two spots some kind of Denver high schools, and then you can also see the Denver public schools versus the state versus national averages there. And I think this just gives you a little snapshot that like we really do push kids to meet their potential academically, um, and then and they do. Again, you can see the ninth grade PSAT median growth percentile, percentile and you can see that DSST can Conservatory Green significantly outperformed all other schools and Denver Public Schools as a district. And now I know that AST can't can't take these results as our own yet, but I think it does give a window into what is really possible for kids um, as they move through Aurora Science and Tech High School. And then you can see this slide shows college remediation rates. Um, this is percent of students needing remediation in college, meaning they're not able to go in and just take English 101. They need to take classes before they're able to access college coursework. That costs time, it costs money and to do that, and we definitely want to reduce that. You can see here there are many, many schools in Denver public schools and nationally um, where there is a lot of that needed, and that is our goal is to not have Students need remediation if they if and when they get to college. So speaking of college, I think I just said if they get to college, we're, we're really, you know, our, our goal is that all students have the opportunity to attend a four year university if that is what they choose to do. So in 10 years, we have had 100 percent of all of our DSST graduates um, accepted into a four year college or university. University, and our alumni attend some of the best schools both here in Colorado and across the country and we feel really proud of that fact. Um, we know that maybe not all students will choose to go to college after high school, but we don't want that to be a decision they can't make because they weren't afforded the opportunity. So we do have kids apply to school and make sure that they are ready to go if they choose to. So in terms of college placement, um, our DSST high school students take a college seminar class, and this is curriculum focused specifically on college learning um, and is deeply aligned to alumni feedback on what's been helpful or what was missing in their high school experience. We've asked our alumni, like, what would have been helpful to you before college? Um, and we've kind of crafted a college seminar course that speaks to that. Um, in high school at AST, students will take college visits yearly organized through our school and then those like big college field trips maybe in freshman or sophomore year will start to become more individualized as students 
move up through their high school experience. And we take a really deeply personalized approach to placing students at schools that are going to work for them. We have a whole team that will be dedicated just to college success and will consider many factors in terms of uh, including financial status and aid fit um, majors uh, and many other things that help kids decide where will a good college be for me. They also help with college essays and have multiple individual family meetings a year to make sure that not just the student, but the whole family is involved in those decisions. And here you can see just a few colleges that um, our alumni at DSST Public Schools have graduated from, from Stanford to Colorado School of Mines to the Ohio Bobcats. Um, we are just really proud of all of the schools, and this is just, again, a small sampling of many schools that our alumni have been accepted into. Our academic program at AST is you know, pretty rigorous. We're just gonna talk today about our ninth grade coursework, but in composition class, which is like their um, writing class, they will take writing. They will also take humanities. That's an English course. Math, physics, Spanish, either for um, like Spanish level one or two, or if we have native Spanish speakers, they have a course for uh, native Spanish speakers to take. And then they'll have some creative core electives and PE. And I think like I'm using this slide based on Conservatory Green's first year. Of course, when the high school director is named here at AST High School, they will have um, a big say in the course offerings that we will provide. And so like this is a guide, but this might change slightly depending on kind of parent input and interest, and then also the leader of this school. Um, so I did like more in depth with ninth grade and 10th grade. Students will also have the opportunity to take AP classes such as AP chemistry or computer science and algebra two honors if they are ready for that. And then you can see in 11th and 12th grade, the AP course offerings just increase um, a lot. We know that if students take AP courses in high school, they um, can get credit for those in college and not have to take those courses then. There will also, again, be lots of courses that maybe aren't listed here that might be included in the AST curriculum as we work to design that high school. Here are some of examples of creative core electives that high schools in DSST have had. You can see visual arts, engineering, music, computer science, and the performing arts. So again, as the school director for the high school is named in the planning process, process really ramps up, we will certainly let you know kind of which of these course offerings we will offer at AST, but um, we will probably offer several. A hallmark of our AST high school programming is junior year when students take an internships course. It is one trimester out of the three, about 50 hours, um, and students will go off site to complete internships. We're really hopeful that here on a here at AST, um, with our close proximity to the Anschutz campus, that a vast majority of our internships will take place on the Anschutz medical campus, hopefully many within walking distance of the school. Um, and so that's like a really unique opportunity we have with our proximity to the Anschutz medical campus to provide a lot of internships there. We really try to place kids based off their passions. If they're really interested in being a nurse, we'll want to hook them up, hopefully with a nurse, right? Um, if they're interested in veterinary medicine or teaching, we'd want to like really try, we'd really try to match their passion and interest with the internship they're played in to, um, with the internship that they attend. At the end of the trimester, there is always an internship showcase where students will um, stand and, and present and share with the community what their internship was, what they learned about it and how it impacted their future career aspirations. Um, it's also a really great time for students to practice writing applications and resumes, soliciting references, and actually it really gives them their first kind of professional connection outside of a school setting. Here are some places where um, students have completed internships in the past. So, Want more details about AST High School? Please look out for communication, um, probably from me if you are a current 
an AST parent, or from our home office if you are a prospective parent whose student is not currently at Aurora Science and Tech. Um, and then we will have more information as the school director for the high school is interviewed and then hired. And I would be remiss to not mention are the beautiful things about DSST high schools and specific to AST that will happen outside of the classroom. You know, sports and extracurricular activities are huge. We know they're so important to students feeling connected to their, their school. And so we will be a CHASA sanctioned school. We'll have a conference league. We'll do all of those things as we get up and running. Um, here are the CHASA sports at DSST, currently cross country, basketball, soccer, volleyball, and cheerleading. And of course, if your student is interested in playing a sport that we don't offer at AST, like football, they can always play for their home school and we would help you figure out how to navigate that. Here are just some clubs, activities, and honor societies that have been offered at DSST high schools in the past. Many will be offered at AST as well. Um, it's always dependent on student interest and teacher expertise. Um, so here's just a smattering of those. And then we want to give students a full high school experience. So we want to give them some choice in their classes, offer dances like homecoming and prom, give them longer transitions, potentially think about off-campus lunch for juniors and seniors. No promises because I'm not the high school director, but that's something we think about. Potentially do something like food truck Friday. Fridays for them, have pep rallies and spirit weeks and school wide competitions. We just want this to feel like a high school experience for students who attend. Here's some pictures of various spirit weeks at other DSST high schools. This is a pep rally and the cheer team at Conservatory Green. This is these pictures are pre COVID days. And then here are some prom pictures from different from different schools. So here's how this works. There is a choice process and for AS for current AST middle school students, you have an automatic seat. You don't need to do anything. So you just need to tell us if you're planning to not enroll your student here. Otherwise, your student will automatically be enrolled in our ninth grade class. We will also open a lot lottery to the public for students who are not currently in our AST middle school. And then from that students who are live in the boundary of Aurora, get first preference, followed by any student outside Aurora. So really excited. We can answer any and all questions that you have about the choice process um, via our website, email. You can call this the, the AST Middle School and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions. So thank you. You can see two really important email addresses here. Of course, if you're a middle school family, you are familiar with my email and Miss Rodriguez's, but Miss Rodriguez is our front office manager and her email is right there. Mine is right below. Again, we would be really happy to get any questions that you have. Please just send us a quick email or you can always call the school at 303-524-6397. I would also encourage you if you don't already to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and you can always check out our website by going to the website or just Googling um, Aurora Science and Tech website. Thank you so much for your time today. I really hope you'll consider AST High School for your student.